Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive review of ExpressVPN, specifically for the Amazon Fire TV and the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And also in this video, I'm going to be covering my thoughts and experiences of using ExpressVPN for the past couple of months. And I'll also be showing you guys a behind the scenes look of how the app actually performs. And I'll even go ahead and connect to a GeoBlocks location and access the different versions of Netflix and also other third party apps. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, then don't forget to check out my massive 49% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV Stick dashboard, and I've actually had this particular device for around three to four months now, and I originally jumped ship from the Apple TV over to the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And the main reason for me kind of converting uh, to this particular device was that I could actually go ahead and download VPN apps directly onto the device. So with the Apple TV, you actually cannot do this and you actually have to go ahead and connect it to your router, which is just simply a pain. So this was one of the main reasons why I did go with the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And once I did go ahead and connect it to my TV, the next thing I did was to go ahead and download a VPN. So the one that I've been using a lot over the last few months is ExpressVPN. And as soon as I went ahead and downloaded ExpressVPN onto my Amazon Fire TV Stick, I was really blown away by the extra functionality that I was able to access on the platform. So from my own personal experience of using ExpressVPN uh, with the Amazon Fire TV Stick, there's two major benefits that I have personally come across. And the first one is the ability to go ahead and unlock all the different versions of Netflix on the device. So for myself personally, I'm actually located outside of the United States. So this means I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies that can only be found on the other versions of Netflix. And I know in the US, surprisingly enough, you actually also do miss out on content like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Friends, and Rick and Morty that can actually be found on the other versions of Netflix, um, such as the Australian version, the Canadian, and also the UK based version as well. So the second benefit that I've come across with using ExpressVPN and my Amazon Fire TV Stick is the ability to go ahead and use third party apps and being able to hide your personal information and being able to stream confidently knowing that your personal information is secure and private. Okay guys, so the next thing I'm going to cover in this ExpressVPN review is kind of like a behind the scenes look of the ExpressVPN app a couple of the settings you can adjust and kind of just the walkthrough of using the platform. So as you can see, I've already got ExpressVPN downloaded onto my Amazon uh, Fire TV Stick. However, if you don't, you can easily go ahead and search for it in the top menu and go over to the left hand side. And then I just want to go ahead and search for ExpressVPN and I'll just go ahead and put in the first couple of letters. And as you can see guys, we have a kind of recommended app so I'll just go ahead, click on that one. And as I already have ExpressVPN downloaded onto my device, mine might look a little bit different. However, if you do wanna go ahead and download this particular app, there'll be kind of a circle orange or yellow um, download button. So you just wanna go ahead, click on that one, and that will go ahead and download ExpressVPN onto your device. And it only takes a couple of moments. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you can now go ahead and open up the ExpressVPN app. So as I'm already a customer with ExpressVPN, it logs me directly into my account. However, if you haven't created an account with ExpressVPN, then don't forget to check out the exclusive 49% discount link down below in the video description. So this will go ahead and open up the ExpressVPN website in a new tab. So you can go ahead and choose the right plan for your needs and budget. And from there, they'll give you a username and password. So once you have that, you just wanna go ahead and insert that into the login credentials. And once you input that information, this is what you'll be greeted with. And this is the home page of the Express VPN app. And from my own personal experience of using multiple VPNs on the Amazon Fire TV Stick, this is by far my personal favorite for the layout. It's very simple and easy to navigate. Um, I think the designers of the app really did put a lot of thought into kind of how this operates and the usability as well. So right here we have this big red satisfying button. So if you want to go ahead and connect to a server closest to your um, kind of location, 
you can just click on this one and this will automatically connect you to the fastest server that ExpressVPN can find. However, if you want to go ahead and kind of dive a bit more into the settings, that's very easily done by clicking on this larger rectangular box with the three dots. So I'll just go ahead and click on that one. And now once I'm here, I get some recommended servers and locations that I can connect to. So if I scroll down the list, we have Australia, United States, South Africa, and the list pretty much does go on. Or alternatively, I can go over to the right hand side and go to all locations. I can click on that one. And then this categorizes countries by specific regions, such as Asia Pacific, the Americas, Europe, Middle East, and Africa as well. And alternatively, I can go over to the search icon and search for a particular city or location that I would like to connect to. So before I go ahead and connect to a server and kind of show you guys the speeds and performance of using ExpressVPN, I'll also show you some of the really awesome settings that you can adjust um, with using the app as well. So I'll just go back to the homepage of ExpressVPN. So once I'm here, I'll navigate over to the left hand side where the hamburger menu is. So I'll click on this one, I'll go to settings, and right here guys we have various settings that we can go ahead and adjust, um, such as auto connect, um, so this is actually a really awesome benefit, um, so if you go ahead and turn this on, this means that whenever you turn on your Amazon Fire TV stick, ExpressVPN will automatically start up in the background, and this is especially important if you're going to be using your Amazon Fire TV stick for third party apps. And this means there's no need to manually go into ExpressVPN and turn it on every time, as this automatically does it straight for you. Now if I scroll down a little bit more, we have split tunneling. And this is also a really great benefit, as this allows you to split your traffic into kind of two different categories. So say for example, you just want to use the normal Netflix on your Amazon Fire TV stick. So this will reroute traffic without using the VPN. However, if you want to go ahead and use third-party apps, that means the VPN will be utilized for those apps. So you can really kind of utilize the best possible speeds um, for what you're going to be using the device for. So if we scroll down a little bit further, we also have the VPN protocol that we can go ahead and adjust. And then we have some other settings such as language, app and website shortcuts, and a couple of others as well. Okay guys, so that's the settings covered of ExpressVPN. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect to a server and access a different version of Netflix, just so you guys can see that ExpressVPN is actually working for accessing Geobox content. And I'll also share with you my thoughts and kind of experiences of using this, and also share with you some real-time speeds when connecting uh, to Netflix as well. So I'll go back to the home page. I'll go ahead and click on this big rectangular box again so I can select the location that I would like to connect to. So I'll click on that one. And now I'll just go down here and see if I can find the United Kingdom. As I actually want to go ahead and watch a TV show that isn't available in my location and also America as well. So I'll just click on this one here. And as you can see guys, we're getting a, pros, a kind of a progress bar and once this is highlighted in green, this just notifies me that my entire Amazon Fire TV stick is now connected to a UK based server. And I can even go ahead and download the app onto my iPhone, Android device, and also computer. And I can also go ahead and repeat the same process across multiple devices as well. And this is also one of the major advantages of using ExpressVPN. It does work for the Amazon Fire TV stick but you also have five included devices that you can stream simultaneously as well. So now that I'm connected, I'll go back to my Netflix um, account. So I'll go to my Netflix account. I'll select my profile. And now that I'm here, I'm going to go and search for a TV show. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for the Friends TV show, which is one of my personal favorites. So I'll just go ahead and search for this one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to the Friends TV show, plus some additional content that isn't available in my location, um, such as How I Met Your Mother, The Big Bang Theory, and if I scroll down, you can just see the kind of wealth of content that is available on the platform. So what I'm going to do now guys, is actually go ahead and play a really small snippet of this TV show in real time, as a lot of VPNs actually do allow you to get this far, they do allow you to go ahead and search for content, but as soon as you try to play a piece of that TV show or movie, 
uh, Netflix actually does detect that you are using a VPN and this is actually one of the main advantages that I have found to using ExpressVPN as they are actually one step ahead of Netflix and you can actually go ahead and watch content with no issues whatsoever. So I'm just going to go ahead and play a little bit of this in real time as I really want to show you guys a real world indication of speeds when using ExpressVPN. So I'll just go ahead, click on this one, press play and I'll let this load in real time. And as you can see guys, I'm getting the buffering wheel here and this is pretty typical with using ExpressVPN and more specifically kind of connecting to geo-restricted content on Netflix. And this is primarily because I'm located here in Australia and my connection has to go all the way to the United Kingdom, kind of get the information and send it all the way back to me as well. Um, so this is really not unfamiliar, um, especially with using a VPN. Um, this is pretty typical. And from my own experience, it does take around maybe 10 to 30, maybe 40 seconds on a slow day for the stream to get going. Uh, but once it does, there's pretty much no issues with buffering and also quality as well. And again, one thing to keep in note is that I am located in Australia. And as you can see, guys, the stream is now working with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see from that little test there, guys, ExpressVPN, from my own experience, is a fantastic option for allowing me to bypass the geo-restricted content on Netflix. And I've also been able to connect to multiple other locations, um, such as Canada, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the list pretty much keeps going on. Okay guys, so the next thing I'm going to share with you is how I access third-party apps with using ExpressVPN on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So I'm going to go back to the home page of the device and before I go ahead and open this third-party app, I'm going to go back to ExpressVPN and this is mainly because I want to go ahead and change my location to one that is closer to me so I can get the best possible speeds when using these apps. So again, I'll go ahead and change my location by clicking on the three dots here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on Australia. And this will go and connect me to a server in Sydney, Australia. And again, once this says highlights in the green, this just notifies me that my entire device is now connected and also that my IP address and my activity is hidden from my internet service provider. So now that I've done that, I'll navigate back to the home page. And now I'll go to the FreeFlix um, third-party app that I'm using on my Amazon Fire TV Stick. And this is actually a really awesome app. And it's very quick and easy to use. And I'll just go ahead, click on Later. And as you can see, guys, I'm getting access to free movies and also TV shows within this app as well. Okay, guys, so that's my overall review of using ExpressVPN for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. As for my overall opinion of using Express, I'd actually have to say they're really awesome. They have allowed me to go ahead and access the different versions of Netflix with no issues whatsoever. And I've also found them great at hiding my IP address so I can access third-party apps on my Amazon Fire TV Stick device as well. So there you have it, guys. If you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, then again, don't forget to check out my exclusive 49% discount link down below in the video description. And also, if you have any questions or queries about ExpressVPN, Amazon Fire TV Sticks, or VPNs in general, then feel free to comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And also, guys, if this video has been helpful for you, or you've found any value in it whatsoever, then please smash that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.